Hello, my name is Ray Slaughter and I'm with the CDS group here at Train. Today we'll be offering an introduction to Veritrain Duct Designer. We'll review the capabilities of Duct Designer and I will highlight key features. There are three modules within Duct Designer. After watching this video, you'll be able to summarize the modules within the program. These are the Duct Delator, the Duct Configurator, and the Fitting Loss Calculator. You'll be able to define Duct Design terms, you'll be able to describe the various duct design methods, and you'll be able to properly apply the advanced features within the program. Duct Designer will model supply duct systems from the main fan all the way to the diffuser or VAV box. It's important to note that this software is used to design supply ducts, not return ducts. The ASHRAE fitting database is included with the application. It's possible to model rectangular, oval, or round duct work in Duct Designer. Transitions and junctions are available in the program that allow you to move between form factors as you create your design. The customer version of TOPS is integrated with Duct Designer. This allows you to pull detailed VAV box selection data into Duct Designer for use in your model. If you're accustomed to using the cardboard ductilators, you can throw them away. Duct Designer includes an electronic version of ductilator for free. The electronic ductilator is faster and easier to read. Data entry is simple and straightforward. Calculation results appear almost instantly. The fitting loss calculator computes the total pressure drop of a fitting based on its configuration, dimensions, and the airflow passing through it. The calculations are based on an extensive library of fittings originating from the United, McGill, and ASHRAE 1993 duct fitting database. There are two ways to use fitting loss calculator. The first is within duct configurator to add and size fittings within duct sections. In this case, the applet opens a window labeled fitting input when you click on add inline in the sections worksheet. The second way is by itself to compare fitting efficiencies. To use the fitting loss calculator this way, click on the fitting loss calculator tab, describe the fittings and applicable air conditions, and the output will calculate the velocity and velocity pressure at the inlet and at the outlet and the pressure drop and loss coefficient at each output. The duct configurator helps you size the supply duct system, identify its critical path, and determine the static pressure and airflow required at the supply fan. If you choose, it can help you resize non-critical paths by identifying the fitting sizes and placement needed to balance the system. The other tabs at the bottom of the screen allow you to enter the details of your planned duct network. To use Duct Designer, you'll need to understand the terminology used in the application. A section is all ductwork from the inlet of a junction or transition fitting to the inlet of the next downstream junction or transition fitting. A root section is connected directly to the supply fan outlet. Junction and transition fittings connect the sections of ductwork. Inline fittings join, adjust, or adapt other duct system components within duct sections. Veritrain Duct Designers database contains hundreds of ASHRAE and United McGill fittings. Junctions have inlet, outlet, and branches. The inlet is where the airflow enters the junction. The outlet is the straight through path of a junction. And a branch is any other leaving path from the junction. As you know, variable air volume systems use VAV boxes. VAV boxes terminate a duct run. Diffusers are the final link in a constant volume duct system connecting the duct systems directly to the space. The critical path has the largest pressure drop of all paths associated with the fan. Therefore, all non-critical paths are overpressurized and require resizing or the addition of dampers and orifices to balance the system. Auto balancing is a feature available within the duct configurator that allows designers to downsize non-critical paths and add dampers or orifices to use up excess pressure in the system without affecting the critical path. Duct Designer supports both the equal friction and static regain methods of duct design. If you've been using the duct delator to design your duct runs, you're already familiar with the equal friction method. It attempts to keep the pressure drop per unit of duct length relatively constant throughout the system. In contrast, the static regain method attempts to maintain a constant static pressure throughout the duct system. Due to the calculations required, the static regain design method is impractical to use for hand calculations. However, it's the ideal method to use when designing duct network on a computer. Duct configurator can automatically recalculate the airflow needed at the supply fan based on how much air leaks from the system. That value, in turn, is based on the value specified for the leakage class 
in the section's worksheet. If autocorrect for thermal gain or loss is activated, the program will take temperature change into account when sizing the duct sections. For example, if the user specifies that the air leaving the coil is 55 degrees and the system picks up 5 degrees before entering the space, the program will recalculate the new supply CFM and size the duct system based on the new corrected CFM. The amount of heat pickup is determined by the properties of the air in the section and the thermal U factor for each duct section. The temperature change is displayed on a section by section basis in the design results section report. The total airflow added to the system is displayed on the project summary report. When auto balance is selected by itself, the program will add dampers and adjust them in sections where overpressurization is present in an effort to decrease the excess static available. Perforated or orifice plates are added to the sections with overpressurization that exceeds one inch water gauge for acoustical purposes. Dampers or plates added to the system contain the prefix AUT in their fitting ID. To remove program added fittings from the system, uncheck the auto balance checkbox. A prompt will pop up asking if program added fittings should be removed. Sections can be selected to have no fittings added despite being overpressurized by selecting the Don't Add Dampers Orifices checkbox on the Sections tab. If Auto Balance has already been selected, resize non-critical paths will become available as an option. The program will downsize the non-critical paths of the duct system, if possible, in an effort to decrease the excess static at the terminal devices without affecting the critical path. Downsizing duct sections impact the entire system. You should expect calculation times to increase accordingly. In other words, running this feature can reduce installation costs by reducing duct materials without affecting operating costs. Downsized sections on non-critical paths remain within the original design constraints, maximum section velocity and such. If some excess static still remains, dampers can further be added to finish the balancing on the system by selecting yes to the add dampers and orifices drop-down box. There are many reports available in Duct Designer. This is an example of the most commonly used report in Duct Designer. The section report provides many pieces of information critical to the design. Duct Designer will calculate the optimum size for a duct section. This is displayed in the optimized equivalent diameter column. Since duct work is not typically produced in custom sizes down to the hundredth of an inch, Duct Designer will display the next larger standard size in the dimension column. It's this dimensional information that the design build contractor will need to build out the duct network. Section pressures, velocities, and airflows, inline fitting information are also available in this report. This completes our discussion of the capabilities of the duct design program. Hopefully we've given you a basic understanding of the capabilities of duct designer and the type of output you can expect from the application. If you need assistance in other areas of the program or just want a better understanding of some of the concepts we talked about today, here are some additional resources available to you. As always, please feel free to contact the CDS Support Center by phone or email with any comments, questions, or modeling concerns you have. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about Duck Designer.